it's 2019, Siege has begun. It has given us perfect renditions of multiple G1 characters, but out of nowhere, Siege dropped with a leader class Optimus Prime, despite having a great Voyager class in the first wave. But wait, something is different? It's not G1, it's something better. Hello, and welcome to Jinx. Today we'll be taking a look at a bot that I got last TFM. This is War for Cybertron Siege, leader class Galaxy Upgrade Optimus Prime, or Cybertron Optimus Prime slash Galaxy Convoy to us. This Optimus is a heavy retool of the Siege Ultra Magnus, meaning it isn't fully accurate to the Cybertron design, but also meaning that it does in fact have regular Prime and upgraded Prime forms. The regular Prime robot is a repaint slight retool of the white Optimus that comes with Magnus. It looks like a Cybertronian G1 Prime, hence why RDW use it for their comics but also has the yellow eyes of the G1 toy that people crave. Like every video, I am not doing a script for the articulation, as, well, it's very awkward to film with a script. Um, so to start off, um, 4 3 6 of the head. I mean, it's a bit loose, but it always has been even on the original. It has 360 shoulder movements. It has... You've got to go really hard to get it that far, because it goes here nice, and then for some reason you gotta really go for it and you can hear it. Obviously, full biceps level. You know, slightly, and I mean slightly over 90 degrees of bend of the elbow. Full 360 wrist swivel. Full 360 at the waist as well. It has kicks that far back that far but it's incredibly tight um due to these being the legs of super mode as well goes out that far um thigh so i forgot the name then um come here you got little under 90 degrees of bend at the knee um feet do in fact have and you can put the heel in like it's already gone in for some reason already obviously you know ankle tilt um the basic stuff, and um, this was one of the, well, it was the third leader of Siege to actually have the full, what we now know as the modern standard. Now for the combination, wish me luck with this. Um, I was going to do the instruction, not instructions, I was going to answer questions that Tony Thrustle did for TF Nation. Um, about, well, for about TF Nation during this, but I'm, in fact I'm going to do that during the transformation. And this is going to be the most half arse combination sequence you've seen. Obviously, rip, rip the legs apart with the back of them and fold, if you haven't already, those bits in. You know, the heels are back and you just shove them in. <sighs> this is pretty awkward, this, um, because I don't have much room. Because iPad camera doesn't like to, you like to zoom in a lot and me not have much room. It's very annoying. Obviously, you do the same there with the other foot. And there you go. Boom. Legs are done. You kind of, if you want to, fold out the heel spurs um, here, but it honestly doesn't make any difference. Um, there you go, there's the lower half of the body done. Um, obviously, do what you have to do for, the, you know, push the chest, well, you take a torso actually, forward until it clicks, drop that down, take off what will become the arm guards um obviously fold the shoulders back and shove the head of the core robot in i'll have to fold it around um put it until everything snaps in and there you go that's him prepared shoving shoulder pads which is the most awkward thing possible to shove into the uh, fire engine mode and take the Arm guards, and put them there. Same on the other side. And then for the finale, come into this big chunky bit, fold out the wings, fold in the cannons behind. Obviously, then you should. Oh, this is the scariest bit, I can't break it. It's tabbed in so tightly, fold it in, lift up. Those bits, shove that in, accordion in, and shove them back in to hold them down. And then just flip up 
the chest and the head looks a bit more and then tub it in no on camera it's gonna be awkward in it told you it was gonna be awkward um I'm not filming this again because this is so awkward to film. Um, there we go. Now he's done. Hallelujah. Armoured Prime is perfect. It screams Cybertron and that's all I want. I had the Legends figure when I was a toddler, which does me for a regular Cybertron Prime, so this really hits that itch for the armoured version. This design is one of my favourite Throptimus as it's inspired by R.I.D., Armada and even has some essence of TFA despite that design coming later. It's an amazing Optimus design that so many people appreciate. My favourite parts of the combined mode are the cannons. They are huge and really add to the feel of the Cybertron design. They are painted silver making it feel premium. And the thinner cannons bile can come off and be used as a gun. There are also guns on the shins that can also be used as smaller weapons. Once again, wish me luck with the articulation segment of this. It's basically the same as the original, um, you know, head swivel. The waist stays the same. The arms, though, can't do 360 because of the wings and the shoulder pads. Um, really, the only thing that actually changes is the, are the ankle tilts because they are massive compared to the original. Um, that's it, really. Uh, wing articulation, obviously we all know how the guns work, they fold around and can be attached to the arms. That's really it. Uh, now I'm going to change changed. again and hope that I've actually pressed record this time. Um, but we're going to answer the questions asked in the transformation so we can be distracted from the awkwardness of transforming this in this view. Um, so, Tony Thrustle, okay, Sam, I've asked you one asked, when are we getting there? And I say, big something we're friends this year. Friday, um, setting off on the Friday to get the for the Friday, setting off around, well, I will be setting off around six, and um, they're picking me up on the way, because I'm on the way to, well, Birmingham, obviously. Um, hopefully, hopefully we'll get them nine, half nine, because I'm at the forge this year, I've got a lot of things to take, um, and don't want to be really carrying them around um, with me uh, all around the day. Uh, question two was, what is on your shopping list? See so Jetfire, um, that four pack because I want to get the animated um, trooper. Call the author trooper. Um, SS86 slug, really anything that I've missed out as well. So it's mainly like blue streak and smoke screen and trail breaker and hoist. So the only other thing is that I well say need want. Um, that means I completed the Autobot cars cast playlist. Now if I was going on my own. It would be very easy to say my playlist. Um, Simples, Maggie Linderman, Blavio Brides, Palerail, in this moment, a lot of in this moment, I will say a lot of in this moment recently. Um, Ghost, uh, Motionless in White. But because I'm with my friends, I've got CDs for a bit of My Chemical Robots, a bit of Avril Lavigne, Jungle Book, Florence and the Machine. Um, I forgot what else we have. Um, what else do we have? Oh, I can't remember. Uh, question number four is autographs. Uh, Maycat, that's all I really want to want. Maycat, really. Um, David Soboloff would like him to sign my um, Suicide Blitzwing box. Hopefully, that's the cab. Done. Yippee. Except for the awkward bit. Um, I'd like to have him to sign my Blitzwing. Uh, obviously, if there's a chance we could ever meet Sue Blue. You know, highly doubted. I'm not paying £75 for the Legend Pass, as much as I love TF Nation. £75. I mean, if it were Peter, if it were Cree Summer, I would pay a million pounds to see Cree Summer. Um, but I'm not really asked about Sue Blue. I mean, she did do RC in Animated and also is the animated voice director, so I would like to meet her, but not really asked like everyone else. So May Cat is the main one for me. Um, commissions, uh, no, sadly not. I've run out of time to get Nick Roach to draw me an animated black and here. Um, but oh well, I will be selling art there, though. Uh, I printed off of it. I will also be selling 
my book. Um, so, you know, the few, few copies there, they'll all be signed, or else I cannot sell them for the price that I get them. Now, Tat, I just I just want to have a Revenge of the Fallen pencil again, because mine is breaking, um, which is quite sad, actually. Um, I love my Revenge of the Fallen pencil. And that's the front half of the trailer done as well. Um, other fandoms. <sighs> oh, don't be joking here, aren't we? Of course I have a lot of fandoms. Um, Overwatch as the big one at the moment for me. Um, just recently completed the Battle Pass as of today, the new one. Um, love that new Tracer skin. Massive Kiri come in now. Same time I was on her. It's the first time anyone's ever beaten Tracer as my main. Kind of sad um, to see that happen. And I'm doing the back half of the trailer and off camera. But it's bloody annoying. Um, obviously anime, duh, I mean, I'm really into um, Hell's Paradise, Chainsaw Man at the moment, um, you know, the basic ones. Black Butler again, because, you know, season four. Season four? God, it is season four, yeah. Um, other than that, veteran and noob, I'm veteran, but it's, I'm a forge noob. Oh, come on. I hate this bit of the transformation. Uh, forge noob. Um, obviously, who isn't when they do it the first time? Uh, don't know what to expect. Don't know how I'm going to handle it, um, but that's why we do it. Um, going mainly to hopefully raise funds for uni stuff. Um, so if you want to buy any artwork, I would have brought some out, actually. I would have brought my, uh, some of the stuff out that I printed off recently, but I have put them all the way already because I am trying to get prepared so that there's less stress. There's the back half of the trailer done. Sorry, you moved me to seeing black's white screen on you right now, so I'm sorry about that. Actually, I'm not, because it's bloody awkward to film. Um, and the final question he asked was, panels, yes, may cats, I need to see that one. I think it's on the Friday, it is? Um, oh, bloody hell, just back off, split again. Um, same with, you should do one with James Roberts, isn't she? Um, so I will have my questions out there already about Nightshade, um, as I have another Nerf Spark at the moment. Um... I'm looking forward to the writer's one. I'll probably ask him tips on how to get noticed as a writer. There's always some books out, so tips on that. Um, and also how to get rid of writer's block and how to stop the dread of that your sequel will not be as good as your original. Um, talking as if my book's a classic, it's not. It's easily just come out. There we go. We've touched the legs. And that is also the end of the questions and the end of the trailer combination. Now, this is the one this is the bit I struggled with actually at the well in the barn at TF Nation. So what you've got to do is you've got to find that obviously the cameras are in the way. So it's a good transformation but not when you're on camera. You've got to shove that bit there and then there is a little slot for the pegs and the legs to go into there. Oh, come on. So he doesn't like me this transformation, but I like it. There we go. It's slotted in now. And then if it comes on, I'll pop it in again. I can't go down. Moment. Maybe I should not pick this as a review to do today. Um, it doesn't like me this. And I'm not liking this at the moment. Okay, there we go. I'm going to do this properly off camera now, actually. I don't push back. This is why I don't like the Ultra Magnus. The Ultra Magnus is the worst version of this mold. Um, I hate the Ultra Magnus figure. As soon as that Commander class comes out, I'm selling my Siege Ultra Magnus. Um. There we go. Finally done. And it holds in solid. Now Absolutely. after that terribly recorded transformation, we get the fire engine mode. And the fire engine mode is amazing. This is one of my favourite alt modes for Optimus and it's a great retool from Magnus. It almost feels like this mold was made for Prime and not Magnus. It's a great size and looks like it can run anything over. The wheels on the wings were false, but the ones on the upgraded legs work fine, meaning that he rolls well. Overall, this figure is one of Siege's best. The only figure from Siege that could rival this, in my opinion, is Shockwave. And for £25 from Toy Fu, 
this was something that couldn't be passed. I have been Jinxed, and this has been my look at Siege's leader class Galaxy Grade Optimus Prime. Don't forget to check my book out, the link is in the description. I shall see you when we take a look at another character from the franchise we all love.